Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back once again with the ANET ET5X. Friends, we're going to do another stress test, so let's get cracking. Friends, today we're going to test ABS, and we've got a reason to. This is my hockey stick. I play hockey, and I 3D printed with PLA this cool end cap that had the string texture already in, so I don't have to wrap as much to create the grip. And then it also had the end cap, but it broke. So today, my friends, we're going to print it with ABS, which is stronger and a little tougher for the printer to print. So my friends, let me take you over and show you the design, and then we'll get printing. Alrighty friends, so here we are. This is Tinkercad. If you haven't tried it yet, it's free in a browser. I'll have a ton of links up here so you can get started. It is fun, fast, and it builds things you can 3D print. This is my hockey stick cap. Since it saves to the cloud, I don't have to worry about storage, so I'm going to create a duplicate. That way I've always got my first version, and I've got my second version as I play. Now you can see I was already fiddling with this, and I cut off this section right here, or I was gonna. I'm going to delete that with the delete key. And this is what I was talking about with the laces. These look like they're already on there after I tape over them, but they're just really a 3D printed sleeve that makes making that grip always consistent and kind of cool. I don't need that anymore though. All I need is the end cap. So I am going to ungroup this. And you can see here I was chiseling the little edges and I'm gonna ungroup it again. And instead I'm gonna ungroup again. What that did was it rounded those edges a little. So I'll delete that so you can see without it there, and I'm going to delete that. And we'll just keep ungrouping until I get down to my original design. This little guy is going to be my friend as he creates the part that slides in. So I'm going to just make this a little smaller so it's a new nub so that we can push it over. I'm going to hide this right here. And now I can, let's double check, yes, grab all of these and finally delete them. So I've just got the end cap. Now this turned out to be a little too large. So I'm gonna use a cool set of commands called Alt-Shift and I'm gonna shrink it just a little. When I type 40 here, then it matches those numbers up. And then I also wanna taper it a little more and make it rectangular in one direction. And I'm gonna type that number by clicking and I'm gonna say I want it 35 in that direction. So it's gonna be 35 by 40. And now if I do show, you can see that this shows up. It is not quite the way I want it though. I want it opposite of that. So I'm gonna just click on the rotation handle and type 90, grab all of it, choose a line, make the red one the master so I can say I want it middle and it already was middle here. Now, I don't want this to be a hole anymore. I'm gonna take this piece and I'm gonna make it a solid. And then I only want it to be 35 high. So that's how far it's gonna stick into that end cap. And we wanna make sure this insert fits right. So right now I'm gonna bust out the caliber. It's zeroed. And if I go inside here, let's see what we get. 25 along. And it's a little more than 25 but not much and then that width is 15. so now i'm going to type those numbers i want 25 this way and i want 15 this way and then i want to stick it in a little further so i'm going to go 55. let's do one last alignment since i just adjusted that and we're going to set it to middle and middle and then I'm gonna group it and now I'm gonna export it so that we can 3d print it I'm gonna choose STL and then I've got a folder called 3d modeling and it's gonna be called uh, ABS hockey stick cap because the goal is to make this with the ABS now that I got it saved let's move to Kira and set the settings for working with ABS Alrighty friends, so here we are in Cura and you can see I've got many printers loaded. This is my A10T and we need to switch to the ET5X. This is one of the sweet things about Cura is you can run one computer that slices things for all your printers. Let's find that file. Remember it was in 3D modeling. If we sort by date, there's my ABS hockey stick cap. When this comes in, we are going to want it to be sturdy. So instead of my infill of 15 I'm gonna do an infill of 25 this time 
I'm also going to change my walls. Instead of 0.8, I'm going to change it all the way to 1.6, so there's four layers. And then we need to switch to ABS settings. Now normally, I would just change the numbers here, but a user said, hey, why didn't you switch to generic ABS last time? So you know what? Let's try it. So I'm going to go over here to generic, and I want generic ABS, and let's see what it adjusts. It put it at 230, and it put the build plate at 60. I'm not sure about this because from what I remember, my build plate was up above 80, so I'm going to change that to 85. Now another interesting thing here is I'm using MakerBot filament, and the last MakerBot printer I bought was in 2017, so that means this filament is four years old. But we're going to still give it a go and see how it works with the ET5X tells us it's going to be an hour and 16 minutes so now let's save to the removable drive take it over there load some filament and start printing alrighty friends so I have already removed my old filament and now what I'm doing is I'm just opening this a tiny bit and I'm feeding it through manually you can barely see the white but this slides through so easy I like this better than the filament insert tool so I just once again set the temperature to 250 and you can see now I am pushing out the old filament I had some green PLA in there and then in just a moment we'll have the ABS there's my white ABS I'm good primed and let's get this print rolling alrighty friends so we're gonna simply back out go to print use that down arrow and see if we can find our hockey stick okay and it's heating and let's see what we make Alrighty friends, so as you can see, it printed fantastic. Nice, smooth, going to be easy to tape on. Let's see if the design actually fits in the hockey stick. Alrighty friends, so there you have it. That design is pretty sweet. One of the nice things about ABS is I can sand this down a little bit. Apparently my bevel wasn't quite perfect, but I think this is going to be absolutely awesome once I get it sanded and I slide it in. Alrighty friends, so there you have it. Once again, the ANET ET5X handled it with flying colors, even very old ABS, not a problem at all. And this time we also got to see Kira. I actually just used the generic ABS filament setting and it worked like a champ, so I really appreciate the user telling me, hey, why don't you test that? Friends, of course, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.